Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome back to Dan Reviews It. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks um, since all the Roseanne fallout happened. And, you know, we had sort of hit peak Roseanne on the channel anyway because the season had ended. I had reviewed almost all of the older seasons um, with a Season 9 review still coming. Um, so, you know, I've been thinking a lot about what direction to take the channel in after Roseanne was, was such a boon for me here. Um, and there's definitely some interesting things on the table. Um, a lot of them Disney sort of related, uh, including going through all the Marvel movies and TV shows uh, in chronological order uh, by when they take place. I've talked about that with my friend Merlin, who guests sometimes. So we're going to, I think, tackle some of that. Um, some of the older Disney movies as well. Maybe some old Disney and Nickelodeon shows from the uh, 80s and 90s. There's been a lot of, like, especially 90s nostalgia um, with some of those older Nick shows. Um, so I've been kind of collecting some DVDs the last few weeks of, of some old Disney and Nickelodeon shows. So that might be something fun to do as well. Um, but right now, let's talk about the Connors. Um, I can't really call it Roseanne anymore because it is uh, going to be going on without its titular star, so they're going to change the name. Uh, it's not officially going to be called The Connors yet, I don't believe. Um, everything I've read is sort of, you know, a a any good news source anyway has said sort of tentatively called The Connors. So we'll see what happens. But regardless, Roseanne Barr is out. Um, I mean, it's easy to kill her character off since in the last couple episodes of the latest season, she was revealed to have a big pill problem. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to excise her from the show based on that plot line alone. Um, so we'll, we'll see. But, you know, that news just, just broke, so I figured I should come on and, and you know, talk with, with you guys about what, what, uh, what I feel about this new... Connors uh, show, it's going to be called. There's 10 episodes down from the originally planned 13 uh, of Roseanne episodes. Uh, and, you know, I, I think there's obviously a few reasons for doing this. Um, you know, monetarily, it makes sense for ABC uh, because all of the main actors had already been contracted and union rules state that they would have had to be paid for the first seven episodes anyway. Um, and then, of course, there's the ad revenue. Um, they were, you know, pundits were kind of saying upwards of $60 million um, would be lost without, you know, the Roseanne show in that time slot to ABC. It was obviously a huge hit. One of the biggest shows of the season. In total viewers, Big Bang Theory uh, was still number one. And Roseanne actually was number three. But still, I mean, for a top show for ABC by a mile. Um, so, you know, they sort of never filled that hole in their schedule yet, uh, and I think obviously, you know, uh, there was hope, I think, from a lot of us that they would come around and, and do something with the family, whether it be, you know, a Darlene show or a, a Dan Connor show, um, uh, but I think this is, you know, look, this is, I think, the way to go. Um, they're, they're going to focus on the family as a whole, which they were sort of saying anyway towards the end of last season. They were saying, look, you know, we're not going to go as political with the new season. It's going to be more family-oriented. And you guys know if you've been watching my reviews, I sort of took umbrage with the whole political stance of uh, the news media about the show anyway because it's like, you know, I just didn't think it was that political um, as opposed to what certain people would have you believe, like, oh my god, like, the politics of the show, it, it really wasn't, so, um, so I was happy to, to sort of see anyway that they were going to focus more on family stuff, because that's, to me, what they were sort of doing, you know, the, the last two-thirds, three-quarters of the season anyway, um, but so, here, here we, we're going to have, you know, Darlene is, is, I think, going to be the central focus with her kids, which makes sense, she was the only one, other than I think Rosanna Dan, that was even in every episode. Maybe Laurie Metcalf was, but just maybe a line or two here or there. Lisey Gorenson may have been in almost every episode. I don't think she was in all of them, though. Uh, the Michael Fishman kind of came and went. But um, So, you know, this makes sense. And look, Rosanna's always been first and foremost about that dynamic between the drama and the comedy uh, and the hard-hitting sort of topics. Um, I don't, I don't mean political topics. I mean, you know, just everyday 
suffering and, you know, money issues and, and uh, abusive boyfriends and whatnot. So, um, I'm all for it. Look, I'm definitely going to watch. I don't know how good it's going to be, if I'm being completely honest. Roseanne, obviously, you know, was a huge part of her own show and created that character. Um, which brings me to the whole compensation issue. Because that was sort of, you know, my thought on it right from the start. I, I had a couple of uh, really nice nice comments on my uh, cancellation review that said, you know, well, they should just bring it back, you know, and, and drop Roseanne off. But the problem was, Roseanne has a huge stake in the show because she co-created it. So what she did, and look, for her own PR nightmare, you know, trying to turn that around a little bit and right the ship, um, you know, Roseanne Barr did the right thing by sort of coming to terms with ABC and with Carsey Werner, the production company um, that really owns the show, um, by sort of stepping aside and saying, look, I relinquish my rights to these characters um, for this new revival. Now, this is the only time that that's ever going to happen. Uh, Roseanne still retains the rights to the Roseanne Connor character, um, and I guess maybe the other characters in future incarnations. Um, so this is basically ABC's, you know, one and only shot to, to do this without her. Um, so, we'll, you know, look, it, it looks good on her that she was able to you know, come up with some sort of, uh, you know, commitment to ABC and, and Carsey Warner and some sort of, um, you know, compromise, because the truth is, she kind of had to, right? I mean, her her agent fired her, you know, like, she was just spinning, spinning, spinning downwards. Uh, this at least makes her, you know, certainly not the hero of the story, but uh, I think it makes her look good that, that she was able to bring couple hundred people from the crew and whatnot back into the fray. Um, so that is good for her, certainly. Um, but for the show, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's going to be decent. I think it's still going to be funnier than a lot of shows on TV, especially if they still have, you know, the writing staff. If Wanda Sykes returns, that's going to be big. Uh, I haven't heard yet either way if that's happening uh, or not, but, you know... Uh, Obviously, a lot of the the writing staff and the production staff will still will still be there because, you know, this all happened after pilot season was over, so it's not like they ran out and got jobs right away or were able to. So, um, I'm interested in the Darlene character. She's always been my favorite, uh, and I think the character in the revival has been good. I think uh, maybe the writing for her hasn't been as strong as it was for some of the other characters like Roseanne and Dan, but. I think with a little bit of tweaking, I, I think uh, we're, we're going to hit the sweet spot. Now, I don't honestly believe that it will go more than this next season. I think I think it's going to be a, a one-shot. I think there's going to be ten episodes, and they will close up shop after that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, a lot more people will stay. I think the first episode itself will get, you know, probably 18 to 22 million people maybe. But it's going to drop off. From there, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of looky loos, um, but it's not going to be as consistent as the season ten ratings for Roseanne, certainly. Um, so I don't know. I mean, if it continues to play well for ABC, I mean, even if it can, you know, get a sweet spot of maybe ten to twelve million viewers, that's still enough for you know one of the biggest hits of the season, and ABC will still be able to make money off of it. But I think this this compromise was sort of more to um, you know, satisfy contracts and at least try and earn some of their money back rather than just throwing it all away. Uh, so I think it makes sense that they did this. I'm excited about it. You know, Laurie Metcalf, to my knowledge, has still never even commented on Roseanne's tweets. John Goodman sort of commented by saying he wasn't going to comment and make things worse. Um, you know, and that it's, you know, kind of a sad situation all around or whatever he said. So it's like, you know, I don't know. I mean, obviously Sarah Gilbert and Michael Fishman were much more vocal in their own, um, you know, thoughts about the, the tweets and, and how they don't really align with that and whatnot. So, you know, playing damage control right away. Um, but listen, I love this cast. Uh, you know, Aunt Jackie's always been a great character. Laura Metcalf is a great actress. Same with, you know, John Goodman and Dan Connor. 
Um, and, you know, the Darlene character, like I said, has always been my favorite. So I am looking forward to seeing what they do with it. It will be interesting. I will probably stick with it for the whole season, but, you know, I watch a lot of TV. I mean, I you know, I stuck with Kevin Can Wait for a whole season, too, so... <laughs> you know, I I I, uh, I give things really the the old college try. Um, I I even went with a whole season of Superior Donuts. So um, I'll definitely stick it out unless uh, unless that first episode is just like god awful. But um, I've been with the the Connors for a long long time, so I, I think I'll stick it out this season. But I honestly, unless it is really a, a ratings hit, uh, you know, even like I said, not even as much as the first one. It doesn't have to be as, as much of a hit as season 10, but as long as it can stay like maybe in the top 15 or 20 shows, I think ABC will probably keep it, but um, we'll see. My gut tells me that it's probably going to be one season. But um, but I want to share my thoughts with you guys on that. Uh, I will be doing a season 9 review of Roseanne, the original show, um, very soon, so we can look forward to that finally. Uh, I just wanted to give it some distance. I was so angry, as uh, you guys saw if you watched my cancellation podcast. So, um, But other than that, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline for this station. And uh, also something that, that Merlin had mentioned to me that I never really uh, got onto. I really liked the idea and never really implemented it yet. But uh, as you can see behind me, you know, these are just a couple of rows of my DVDs. I have a, a massive collection of both DVDs uh, and and music. Uh, so I want to kind of share that with you guys and maybe, you know, tour, tour the arc. I call my basement the archives. Tour the archives a little bit and uh, look at some interesting stuff. You know, not necessarily do some, like, unboxings, um, but, you know, I do have a lot of, like, limited edition cool stuff um, that I would love to show you guys. So, you know, that may be sort of a, a separate series of podcasts as well um but all right thanks for watching as always uh comment Lo i love hearing from you guys i really do you know be it positive or negative um you know if, if it's engaged you enough to comment i want to know about it um so thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye